Hello guys, this is Mark from Funsum and today we'll be removing the FRP or Google Lock on a Motorola E5 Plus. So as you can see, the model says Motorola E5 Plus. First, we're gonna connect to our Wi-Fi network. So um, connect to any hotspot or local Wi-Fi network that can be used, that has an internet connection, just to show you guys on this device that there is a Google Lock and also you need to make sure you're maintaining a good Wi-Fi um, connection for this whole removal process. Cause that's how we're gonna trick the system so let's check for updates after we check for updates just agree and continue for about your privacy check for updates again just a second literally and check for info after that there goes that pesky ghoul lot that we don't want to see so let's click the back button all the way to the front screen and now we're gonna do this thing called go turn on talk back so click vision settings go to talk back and then click on after that it's going to bring you to a screen which is like a tutorial so do an l after you do that l go to talk back settings you might have to double tap it and use two fingers to navigate if you use one it's not going to work you need two fingers so now click on talk back tutorial double click after that turn off talk back now bring you to that screen so now we'll want to slide down slide down go to help and feedback after go to help and feedback, go to the first link, get started with voice access. After that, click the home, click the play button, and you'll see this button all the way on your right end. Yeah, and just click those two little three dots. And after that's gonna play a video, which we don't care about, so we're gonna slide that down. Go to the little picture icon, go to settings. After you go to settings, go to about. After you go to about, go to Google privacy policy and now we're in Chrome so we need to copy this first link for a quick shortcut on your device so just type it in you're gonna download it and, and that will just take you to the first application that we'll be using to remove the Google lock on our device and believe it or not guys this is very simple you might have to watch the video two or three like two times at least two times just to really get the gist of it um, the link I gave you for the quick shortcut maker is probably a little old. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna put a, a, a more updated app link on in the description, just so you guys can download it. Because this one was acting up while I was using it. Because now I'm just doing a voiceover just to give a more of a better analysis to how I do this process. So I did not enter it correctly the first time. Let's click it again, and that takes us to Media Fire. We're gonna click download, continue, allow, and there it goes. Click OK, and now it's gonna start downloading. Click open. After you click open, go to settings. After you go to settings, just allow from this source, then click the back button, then install. Perfect. Let it to do its thing. Go to open. Go to open. <laughs> it's like I'm talking for myself. <laughs> Give me one. <laughs> Give it one second. <laughs> Go to open. <laughs> there you go. All right. So now we're going to want to type in settings in the description. So type in S T T I N G settings. And it did not, it did not want to go through a few times. So I just kept typing it again. I think I used the old application, uh, old version of quick shortcut. I will put a more updated app on in the description that you guys can use. Do not use the one I'm using in the video for a quick shortcut because it's acting retarded. So click settings, click try. After that, we're going to scroll all the way down and look for apps and notifications. I'm going to basically try to disable Google Play services. However, I can't do it because um, um, the guy in the well, me in the video did not <laughs> deactivate the administrator. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm just going to show you guys what happens when you don't deactivate the administrator. So we're going to go to Google Play services. There it goes. And I can't disable it. So we got to click back, back, and then we're going to slide down. Go to security and location. After we secure the location, go to device admin apps. Now you're gonna click that. Deactivate this device. Yeah, after you deactivate it, go back. Now you're gonna go to apps again. Slide up. Slide apps and notifications. App info. Now you're gonna go down, down, Google Play services. Now we're gonna click that. Oh my goodness. Click that now, Mark. <laughs> Damn, Mark, you're taking so long to click that thing, Mark. <laughs> Give me give give us one give me one second. I must have been doing something in the back. All right, click disable. 
after I click disable, click force stop just to stop it from whatever it's doing. Click back, and we're gonna go to the top three bubbles on the right just to show system because we need to disable this thing called Google Framework Services or some stuff like that. I'm gonna show you guys it right now in the video. It is called Google Services Framework. Disable it as well, force stop it, and now we're gonna click back, back. Click the back button, the lower back button, and now, dude, guys, don't click that back button. Click the top back button with the app, because if you click that back button, you're screwed, literally. So now we're gonna type in Chrome, because we're gonna go back to the internet and download the Remote One FRP. It was acting retarded once again. I'm telling you guys, don't use the link I provided in the video. But I will provide a new one in the description. And now we're gonna type in that in the link for the Remote One FRP to remove the Google lock on your Motorola E5 Plus. Perfect. So let's type that in bit.ly slash 2VYCJ capital J capital B. And that will start off the process. Perfect, perfect, Mark, perfect. Perfect, oh, muy, muy gracias. Let's go. All right. Now we're at the new Remote One FRP link. We're gonna download that. This should take probably, let's say two to three minutes. Not less, probably less like 15, 20, 30 seconds. You're gonna go to, the, I went to the top three bubbles on the right just to see why it's taking so long because I was a little, a little impatient. <laughs> You're gonna see me do it right now. <laughs> All right, go to downloads. I went to downloads and they already finished. Then I just clicked open at the bottom. Click next, click install. I let it install, but look guys, do not open it. Just click done, do not open it. I repeat again, do not open it. Just let it do its thing, let it do its thing. Two years later, click done. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna reinstall Quick Shortcut Maker. So I'm gonna go back to downloads and reinstall Quick Shortcut Maker because we're gonna have to get back into that. Remind me later, because it will do that to you guys also. So open it. Now this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need to go back to settings. So this was actually trip um, tripping, because it did not wanna let me get to settings at all. Again, this is the old, I could tell this is an old version, because look how long it's searching for a settings app. Again, I will have a newer app link in the description. I was just doing it for test purposes. Let's see if it'll go through, but as I can see, <laughs> if you guys are having this trouble, I'm letting you see, letting you guys see how realistic and how much issues it was giving me. But that's because I was using an old app of short, Quick Shortcut Maker. I literally had to change some settings around, but this is good troubleshooting just to see how I fixed it. So you guys can, if you guys are having the same issue, you guys can fix it on your own without having to comment, "Hey, it didn't work for me." But you know, everything's listed in the video. I try to speak as much as possible in the situation, so I try to change the search options. Um, I even waited a few seconds just to see if it will work. Um, still nothing. It just keeps saying now searching. So what I've decided to do is go to activities, which I'll be doing in a few seconds from in the video. After it keeps going through what it's going through right now. Now searching. Now searching. Now searching. <laughs> So there it goes. So I just click settings again. So I just said, okay, bump it. Let's go to activities and go look for Chrome. Go look for settings. So I try searching on there, nothing. So you know what I do next? Okay, I'm just gonna do it manually. So I pick the settings. There's two settings. There's one that has an icon. There's one that does has nothing. So look, guys, do not. The one that has nothing is the one you want to go to. The one I clicked the one with the icon. It did not work. So I went to the one with no. I clicked there. I went to the one with no icon. You see that one blink? That's the one you guys have to go to, the one that's blank. I retap it, click try, and that gets you to your settings. Perfect. After that, I slide down, I go to accounts. Now, guys, you'll need to enter your Google account, your personal, or even make a, a demo. I guess if you guys want to make a demo account, you guys can make one. But just add a Google account, and that will basically finish out the Google removal process after you add that Google account now you know after you got that situated it will actually link to your Google account since we disable Google Play services and we have this remote one FRP which I am guessing oh don't click nothing else just click the home screen just click back and then go back okay now we got to go back to apps and info 
Now we're gonna enable Google Play services and etc. Now we're gonna go to all disable apps. We're gonna go enable those apps again. So enable play services and enable the services framework. Perfect. Now restart device and that's it bro um after this starts back up um we're just gonna have to go through the setup the regular setups will bring us to our home screen and we're just gonna do a reset after the reset guys um that's it your phone has been removed at the google lock on the motorola e5 plus and you're free to use your phone again also this has been tested on most current motorola models so it worked on the E5, the regular E5. It worked on um, some other um, like E5 Play. It worked on a lot of Motorola's that I'm just now understanding. So, you know, um, I really recommend this method out right now, which you don't have to use a computer. All you need to use is your phone only. There are a lot of methods outside on the on YouTube that are actually using a computer. Um, which deals with ADB and everything, but that's not really user friendly. So this method is really to the point that it's user friendly for you guys that you guys can use, and it's a practical method which you guys can use on other phones as well. And you know, it's it's really it's really one two three from here on out. So now I'm just gonna go through the settings and set up everything. It's adding the finishing touches, literally, it's right in your face. <laughs> so keep going, keep going. Four years later. Adding finishing touches. And I try not to time last none of this, guys, because I want you again, I want you guys to really see what's going on and what errors I, or issues I would go through doing this because I don't know, um, some people be um, capping how we say in Florida about how they do it. So I'm just keeping it real with you guys. So now we slide down and get to our home screen. So we can have our Motorola with no Google Lock, guys. This is this is this is the best thing that would ever happen to us, bro. This is this is amazing. As we wait for Mark to, to get back to his phone. Okay, there he there Mark goes. Alright. So next. And there we go, guys. Our phone is open. Look at that beautiful Motorola screen. So now go to settings. After you go to settings, go to just scroll down, go to I had to look for it a little bit, go to I think it's uh, I just typed it in because I couldn't find it. I just typed in reset and I clicked factory data reset. And I just clicked factory data reset, reset phone, erase everything, guys. And guys, that will be all. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a great day.